Okay, hello everybody. This video will be about uh, a thing that I just uh, discovered called Turbolinks. Uh, and I like it. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, I found out about this uh, while reading uh, the release notes for uh, Hugo 64 uh, release here on February the 4th. Uh, but I didn't try it um, till uh, yesterday and I didn't know about it at all this Turbolinks thing here uh, but I read this release notes and I clicked the Turbolinks uh, link here uh, which brought me to a kind of a strange location this uh, line in, in BEP's uh, uh, test repository here uh, because BEP here, uh, Björn Erik, which is Norwegian, uh, just like Turbo Negro, uh, he um, often creates uh, 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 example projects on GitHub to, to show the new features of Hugo. So here he just highlighted this thing and I did uh, um, some clicking around, copy-pasting links and stuff just to figure out what this was all about and it brought me to this page Turbolinks, Turbolinks on GitHub and Turbolinks is uh, a JavaScript uh, that you can include on your web pages uh, that will enable something that is called um, client-side routing and when I, I read this readme here, which is really good uh, source of information about this whole thing. Uh, when I read it, I, I thought to myself, hey, this is exactly what I have been looking for for my own website. Which I have here. And this is my website now, uh, and I uploaded it here now to GitHub just as a test to see if this uh, Turbolink stuff worked and, and things like that, and it did. But this is uh, live now, just so you know, here on GitHub, but I will probably take this version down and stuff, so I will not link it in the show notes. Let's start by doing this, disabling... Um, Disabling cookies and JavaScript here and reload the page So this is the page without uh, JavaScript or cookies or anything enabled and as you can see it works fine Even if we don't have JavaScript here as it should you know Because JavaScript uh, is uh, Most of the time just annoying and slow things down so the page works fine with JavaScript, but now I have actually added this Turbolinks JavaScript to the page. And if we enable JavaScript now, and also a XHR here, I will come back to that, what that means in this context. Now JavaScript is enabled for the page, I think, yeah. You see, I don't know how clear it is, but it's quite uh, a big difference in the uh, refresh rates here between the, the page loads and you can also s see that it uh, feels much more like a single page application uh, it remember it doesn't uh, reload the sidebar here the sidebar stays uh, it doesn't touch that at all it just uh, updates the, the page itself and this is what Turbolinks does it uh, when I click a link on on a web page that have this uh, turbo links enabled it will uh, download that link if it is if it points to a link on on the same uh, host as uh, the web page we are on uh, if I would uh, navigate to, to like a github link here for example this one then it will not you that then it will just use uh, yeah just go to that link normally but if the link points to a page on the same host, for example, one of the blog posts here, it will instead download this link uh, using JavaScript and this XHR uh, thing, which means that it will request that uh, page from the server, 
uh, with the JavaScript without rendering the page. And then it will replace the body tag of this, uh, the current web page, with the body tag of the web page it downloaded and nothing else. Uh, yeah, and of course, update the web page. And this means that it doesn't need to uh, download, for example, uh, the CSS for every time I uh, go to a new page, which, which can make a big difference depending on the size of the CSS and the, how, how complicated it is and, and so on. Uh, it doesn't need to download it and it also doesn't need to parse it and, and uh, apply it and all, all of that is already done, you know. So this makes for much uh, faster uh, page loads in, in almost all circumstances. And I think it fits perfect here with, with this kind of uh, page, which is a blog, you know. And... Uh, there is uh, a feature here of, of this um, Turbolinks that lets you... Let's see if we can find it. You can do a lot of things with it if you want to. Whatever. Here, persisting elements across page loads, uh, which is what I have enabled for this sidebar here. So the sidebar never updates uh, or Turbolinks doesn't update the sidebar. Uh, it doesn't touch that, but it updates the rest of the page. So you really only need to do two things. Uh, let's, here I have it here. I just created a dummy template here. Uh, but all you need to do is include the Turbolinks JavaScript which you can find, uh, which is a bit weird here, but it's actually located. Go out here to the Turbolinks organization, you find Turbolinks source gem. Go into the lib directory here, go into assets JavaScript, and here we have just a single JavaScript file. This is all you need. You don't need to uh, use npm or anything. You just need this single file uh, and download that and uh, add it to your web page like this. It is recommended and probably a really good idea to also fingerprint this and stuff like that, but whatever, I will not get into that. In reality, this should uh, be enough. And then it will be active. You don't really have to do anything else uh, for it to work. But if you want to create like a persistent element uh, like I had done there, then you can add um, in my case, it looks like this. I just added this attribute here to the sidebar that are Turbolinks permanent, and that makes that element uh, permanent. And then I had to do some, some further hacks to make this uh, exactly as I wanted, uh, which is uh, one thing is um, when I click on, on a link here, you can see it changes this. This becomes highlighted like this is the active page the pill here becomes white or, or what to say. This is something I do uh, with, with my own uh, script here. It uh, sets this active class to, to that uh, thing in, in the HTML. So that's something I needed to do. Um, and I also added um, a variable that remembers the scroll position of the, the sidebar because you can see I have a scroll scroll bar here if the sidebar uh, needs that and I needed to add a, a, a script to to keep track of this scroll position otherwise Turbolinks would always default to scrolling it to the top and it does some more uh, useful things uh, in in um, well, lost it there it also uh, manipulates the browser history uh, so so that the back button and forward buttons work when, when you use this because in reality you never uh, change location here when you use this but uh, you can uh, make the browser believe that you have uh, navigated to a different page so it will uh, get stored in, in the history and stuff and it also changes the actual URL so you can bookmark pages and stuff, everything just uh, works. And I guess uh, maybe the best feature or feature, but the best thing is that it also 
it it all depends on how your uh, website is built of course but it it works without uh, turbo links then that, that doesn't break uh, the page in any way now i have done some testing whoops um, to see how fast it is and stuff uh, and it looks to me it looks like it's really uh, fast and i i think i will end up uh, using this uh, when i make on the finalized version of the page right now i have three javascripts here one is this just control javascript to, to keep track of the window position that will of course not be included at all in in the final version and uh, my custom script here uh, that remember that active status and stuff i will uh, uh, actually merge this so it will become just one single javascript file instead of like now we have three um, it's uh, kind of easy to do that with Hugo to, to merge uh, several assets uh, into one file. And that means it will only be, uh, of course, that will increase the file size, but it will not be more file size and it will be less requests. And that is a lot uh, what uh, uh, determines how fast your uh, page will load, how many requests you, you, you need to do. So, yeah, I just wanted to make a video about that um, because I just uh, found it and I wanted to share it with you. But uh, be aware, I'm, I'm no uh, web dev. I don't really know what I'm talking about here. Maybe this is a terrible idea. I tried to find some uh, critiques or in more information about this Turbolinks thing. Uh, the best uh, thing I found so far is this article from uh, 2017 here. Uh, about uh, how this works and I think it was a good article it also have some some cons actually and, and uh, describes the drawbacks and explains that it's not for every site and yeah it's a, it, this is a good article to, to get a get a good uh, sense of, of what it's all about um, and if or it is it is actually something that is uh, shipped with and enabled even by default in Ruby on Rails. So for people who know that stuff, then this is uh, probably no news whatsoever. But I will add links here at least to, to uh, uh, this page, Turbo Links here. I will also add a link to, to the file, the actual uh, JavaScript file that is all you need really. And I will link uh, this uh, article here as well and then you can try it out yourself if you want to or if you don't want to that's also fine and I'm not 100% sure this is where I land uh, but if I uh, decide to not use this it's uh, it's like uh, no work at all to disable this it's more or less just a single uh, line that needs to get removed from my source code in contrary to uh, <laughs> Tailwind CSS, which was took me four hours to, to remove from the source code and uh, it needed like uh, 400 megabytes of JavaScript dependencies. Here, here you have a dependency that is uh, less than 100 kilobytes. I think it's this one. Yeah, 37 kilobytes, uh, 9 kilobytes gzipped. So that's the bloat that will get added but of course uh, it add it it puts some burden on uh, the client the, the end user uh, browser needs to be able to support this and it will need to do some work here to reload the page but i think i think in the end uh, it, it will become faster in almost all scenarios on almost all devices and in those scenarios where it doesn't really work or is the perfect fit, then it will probably already be disabled by either the browser doesn't support client-side routing or uh, the user have disabled JavaScript themselves. And that will not break the site in any way. So I think it's cool technology. And I like it. Yes, I do. Have a great day, everybody.